Hello, uh, this is Rob Hirschfeld with Rack N. I have another little DRP video for you. Uh, this time, I know we're the bare metal company, but this time we're going to show you how to do uh, digital rebar provisioning on Linode, uh, another place where you can get servers really easily and then practice doing digital rebar uh, workflows and things like that. So super handy. Um, this is another way to do the Ansible, uh, external Ansible playbooks. Uh, like I showed you, we did this on Amazon. Uh, just the other day, and then uh, now we're going to do it on Linode. thing about Linode that's sort of fun is um, there's actually some stack scripts. So um, what we what we can do is we can actually build a script. Um, I have a documentation page here that would show how to do this, and then you have like some scripts that make it all go. But you don't have to do that here, which is really cool. Uh, if you look for Zeicle or DRP, uh, we published. They might not be here yet. Oh, you got to spell my handle correctly. There you go. Let's see if we can find it in library. Maybe it's not published in the library yet. All right, so I built some DR, I built some stack scripts that are public. Promise you, you'll be able to play with them. But this one uh, is the DRP server deployment, and basically it's going to ask some questions, which is super cool, and then uh, install digital rebar. Uh, oops, and there's oh, this is right. We're always going to use the tip install scripts, but we're going to tell it what version you want. Uh, set the firewall rules so that they're, the ports, correct ports are open and then uh, upload some content packs and things like that. Uh, because we can supply the version information, we actually have a little bit more control than I showed you in the previous. So in this case, I want the version. I'm going to let the DRP uh, password, rocket skates in this case, so you could override the DRP password, which is super nice. We're just going to limit it to CentOS in this case. I'm going to pick Dallas because it's close to home. I'm in Austin. I'm just gonna. I don't just need a small server. Uh, these tags are fine. I could add some extra ones. It's always handy to have a password. But in this case, I won't need to log into the server at all. It's gonna just do its thing. Um, super handy. And if I wanted to, I could launch the console and then wait for the system to come up. Uh, and what's, what's nice about the scripts, just like what we did in other cloud providers, um, that initial script is going to do all the DRP deployment for us. It's actually going to run through and update content packs and plugins and all sorts of great stuff. So a lot of capability just is going to automatically appear for us uh, in the process. Uh, one of the things that's fun about Linode is we're getting this uh, console, this boot console, and we can actually watch the CentOS system boot. That's about what it would be like if you're doing it on bare metal. So um, that's super handy. It's going to come up. It's going to take just a moment uh, for me to make that happen. In the meantime, we do actually have the server and its IP address. So I'm going to go over here. It's one of my practice machines. And I can say 8092. This is good. And of course, there's nothing there because I haven't brought the system up yet. What we can do now, though, is come back and actually watch the digital rebar install go. It's running the setup script uh, and then installing everything it's supposed to do. So there's DRP install running hands free. That's pretty nice. Uh, and so once it completes this process, it'll have built my digital rebar provision server. I'm really just stalling for time, <laughs> waiting for this thing to happen. Uh, and it's just about there. So let's see, we're building, we're turning on system D and the sim link. Um, because we did that, and then it's done the extra updates. Let's see how it looks. Look at that. Digital rebar in about one and a half minutes. So, uh, rocket skates. I could have overridden this if you wanted to. Very handy. Uh, now I have my digital rebar system. I even have, if you notice, uh, discover Linode as a workflow. Uh, this is a pretty basic workflow. I haven't yet done the stage. You're welcome to provide one if you want, provide the stage that will actually um, add in some information about the Linode server. Uh, but what we did do, oops, sorry. Oh, looks like I messed things up a little bit. I was supposed to create a profile in here and I looks like I broke that, so I'll fix it. Uh, but we were creating a Linode server that shows you the ID of the server and things like that. But this is not very useful, it's just digital rebar. It's nice to take a tour if you want, of course. But what you really want to do is you want to come back in here and say, aha, I want to create some nodes. 
That'd be super smart to do. So I'm going to deploy a node, put in the IP address of the endpoint server. Notice 8091, because we're going to use the join script from the provisioning end port, not the API port. I can pick any number of OSs in this case. I'm going to go back to Dallas. Uh, I can actually pick the small Linode servers and go. Whoops, I have to provide a password again. And so what we've got going here now is a uh, server being created. My password pat, uh, items are coming up all the time, tell me. Let's do another DRP node. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Choose another, let's see, we're good. Put in my IP address again, send seven, Dallas. You can clone and save yourself the time of answering these questions, of course. And I don't actually need to provide a password because that'll get set by uh, digital rebar in this case. But there we go, more password pop-ups, yep. So now I've got these servers coming up. If I wanted, I could look at the console and see what's coming up. Yay, going through the same process. Not that exciting the second time. And then once it's all the way up, what will happen is after it boots, it's going to run that join script. That join script, uh, I'll show you what it looks like. 8091. Oops, and I have to say join up. Hmm, I must be typing something wrong. Uh, what is that script? Oh, sorry, it's machines. Let's cut and paste it all the time and don't even look at what it means. Uh, machines. Oh, sorry, it's HTTP, not HTTPS. Internal to your data center type of stuff. So this is the join up script uh, that's being served by that machine. And so come back over here. We're getting a refresh sign. Both of the machines that we created are coming online and they're going through a process. Actually, they're incomplete or they're completing right now. So they'll come online and be available as digital rebar systems. Uh, once again, pretty typical stuff for digital rebar, but very fun to be able with, you know, very little cost, very little time, no equipment on my, my own part to be able to actually bring up systems, watch workflows. I can then start building things and playing with it and treating this like a real endpoint. So uh, really trying to reduce the barriers for getting started with digital rebar. Uh, and this is yet another example of how for a couple of pennies, you could be building a system, running digital rebar and starting to build your own workflows and playing with how the system operates. Um, you know, our focus, once again, is bare metal and, and net boot provision, but what we recognize is, is that provisioning is really not the goal. <laughs> provisioning just installs an operating system. What we're really trying to do is build a full workflow, a full life cycle of your systems, first boot, multi-boot, every boot, um, and in a lot of cases, multiple boot sequences. And so that's what we're trying to make easy for you to build here, and uh, we want you to be able to do it as quickly and easily as possible and thus another cloud provider providing digital rebar services. Thanks. Oh, if you have <laughs> interested in more information, re, uh, rebar.digital, uh, or go to racken.com and join our Slack community. We have a, a lot, very active community of operators building all sorts of interesting things. Uh, please come by and, and uh, ask some questions and share some knowledge.